right, the next cloud storage service we're going to talk about is Dropbox. So I just went to dropbox.com and it wants me to watch a video. I do encourage you to watch that video. It is a pretty um, nice video. It explains how cloud storage works a little more if you don't quite understand it from my previous video. Um, but it's when I can download Dropbox to my computer just like we did with the other uh, cloud storage devices. But before I do that, I need to sign in. But before I can sign in, I need an account. So I'm going to click create an account. Um, I'm just going to put in my information and create a password. And after I create a password, I can create my account. Once I log into my account, it's well, excuse me, it's going to want me to install Dropbox first. All right, so once Dropbox comes up and finishes downloading, I'm going to install it. And when I install it, it's going to uh, excuse me, it's going to put this folder in the same place we put the Google Drive and the SkyDrive folder. So in that library, I'm going to see I'm going to have a, a really long list of all these cloud storage services. Um, it's up to you which ones you do want to use and not. I prefer not to use all of them just because I don't like every uh, my documents spread out everywhere. But you could use one for work, one for personal. Um, I have a, something else I'm going to show you what Dropbox is very useful for in a second. Um, so it's going to install Dropbox. I'm going to close that. I already have a Dropbox account, so make sure you check that. Type in your email that we just created. Password and you name the computer. So this is the name of this specific computer. So if I put Dropbox on a bunch of other computers or devices, they're going to show up as different names. That way I know who's actually or where my files are being accessed from. Now you do get two gigabytes free or you can have the paid versions. We'll just stick with the free and typical settings. Nothing too crazy. Uh, not going to enter a phone number. We're going to skip the tour. Finish. So now this is my Dropbox folder. And if you notice, it's right by my Google Drive and SkyDrive. And I have a public folder as well as a photos. The photos is really nice for cell phones. So if you have an app for your cell phone, you take a picture, it'll automatically upload it to your Dropbox account and not take up a whole lot of storage on your, your phone. And that way you can delete it off your phone as well. And that's one really good thing useful for Dropbox that it does that some of the others do not. So what I'm going to do now is pause this, uh, rearrange so you can see my cell phone. I'm going to install the Dropbox account or the, the Dropbox app and show you how you can take a picture and it will automatically go to the Dropbox. Alright, so I finished installing Dropbox on my computer, took my phone, downloaded the Dropbox app from my phone, and it automatically uploaded the images I had on my phone. And then I took another picture, and we can see where it automatically uploaded as well. So if I go to my computer, 
I notice under the favorites I have a Jotbox link now. If I click that, I see the same things I'm going to see in the web interface. Um, photos, which is not for my camera photos. This is the camera uploads tab I have right here. So when I double click that, it's going to show me the three images I had already had on my camera, as well as that fourth one that I, I took with my phone after I installed the app. So every time from now on, whenever I take a picture with my phone, it's automatically going to upload to Dropbox, and then I can delete it off my phone to keep my phone from filling up too much. Um, now if I go back to this web interface, um, I need to get back to my Dropbox account on here. I can just click the Dropbox link at the top, and it'll bring me to the same interface we saw. I can click Camera Uploads and see those same four images that I see within Windows itself. Um, so this is really neat because you can keep all the images off your phone and keep space going because as we take more pictures, videos, and things, our phones get really full and they run slow. And this is just one really cool tool that allows us to get those images off of our phones and still have a backup copy is on the web itself or on our local machine. So anytime, if I turn my computer off, I go run around, take some pictures on my phone, come back and turn my computer on, the first time it hits the internet, it's going to communicate with Dropbox and see that I took some pictures with my phone and automatically upload those to this account. And it'll pop up right here and say one file downloading or so however many files downloading and updating to Dropbox. So something really cool to keep in handy. I highly suggest this. Um, the only thing with Dropbox is you only get that two gigabytes of free space. But if you notice up here at the top, you can get free space. When you click that, it's going to bring us to an account. We can upgrade for a paid version. But anytime we refer a friend, it's going to give us an extra five gigabytes per friend up to a 16 gigabyte cap. Once we do other things, we can access, or excuse me, we can get e even more extra space. So if I take that tour that I skipped, I can get 250 megabytes. If I connect with Facebook and Twitter and follow Dropbox on Twitter, as well as post on Twitter about Dropbox, they give me increments of different amounts of space. So you can earn upwards of that 16 gigabyte limit, which is a lot more than we have saw on the other services. So this is really handy, really um, cool tool to use. And I will post a referral link for mine below. So if you have any questions, please, again, leave a comment, send me an email. I use Dropbox on my phone all the time and try to keep my phone cleared out just because it's aggravating having to scroll through a bunch of pictures. Once you get them on here, you can also go back to that account and within the camera uploads itself, you can create folders. And once we add a folder, I can say houses. And then I can move these two images since they're images of a house. Oops. You have to click it and then move. And then I would choose the folder, houses. So we can organize all of our images. So you would just click, come up here to move. I could also rename, delete, or download it to a computer if I didn't have Dropbox installed and I was somewhere at a friend's house and they wanted that image, you could download it to that computer. Um, excuse me, go back to more. And I'm just going to put this in that houses folder again. So now this houses folder that I have has two images of a house that I took when I was in Florida. A um, really neat looking house. But just to show you that there's like a built-in integrated slideshow for images as well. I'll close that and back to my Dropbox real quick. This is another link uh, PDF you can read to get a little bit more information about Dropbox. And there is a limit to the files you can upload within Dropbox. So we can choose files. I can go get one of those Google Documents I had or document Word document files and it will upload and I can go put it in another folder as well and the cool thing about Dropbox is anytime you put something in a public folder it's automatically shared. I'm trying to drag and drop again. So let's say I wanted to share one of those folders or excuse me one of those pictures of that house. I could click on the, the, the file. I'm going to move it to public and now that it's in that public folder I'll go back. Once I click on that image On that image, I can click copy public link, and whatever link that is, I can post it to Twitter, Facebook, anything like that, send it in an email. Anybody who has that link now can view that image, that document, whatever it may be. 
If it's a document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they will not be able to edit. They can only view. So that this is another way of Dropbox doing the same thing, just not as um, robust as Google or SkyDrive. So if you have any questions, again, please let me know. Uh, thanks.